everything in your life that you like and it comes to you is because you have a program to support that anything you work hard to accomplish anything you struggle over to make it happen anything you put a lot of effort in i want this i'm gonna work like crazy I, i'm gonna get this uh, my first question is why are you working so hard and the answer is very simple anything you're struggling to try to accomplish whether it's health or love uh, relationships whatever it is if you're struggling it represents a simple fact your subconscious programming doesn't support that conclusion well a habit is a redundant set of automatic unconscious thoughts behaviors and emotions that's acquired through repetition a habit is when you've done th done something so many times that your body now knows how to do it better than your mind. So if you think about it, people wake up in the morning, uh, they begin to think about their problems. Those problems are circuits of memories in the brain. Each one of those memories are connected to people and things at certain times and places. And if the brain is a record of the past, the moment they start their day, they're already thinking in the past. Each one of those memories has an emotion. Emotions are the end product of past experiences. So the moment they recall those memories of their problems, they all of a sudden feel unhappy, they feel sad, they feel pain. Now, how you think and how you feel creates your state of being. A very scary situation when you are on one side of the door and your mind is racing because on the other side of that door, it could be no one. It could be four guys with four AK-47s. That that door you're about to open can be booby trapped. So once you open it, boom, your legs are gone. So there's a thousand things you think about when you're the first guy, second guy, third guy, getting ready to go in a room and flood it. And that's why I talk about the warrior mentality. And that's why so many people are lost when I start talking. You have the right, you're lucky that you don't have to think like warriors think. You're very privileged. I chose this world to be a warrior, and I, would, and I would choose it again if I came back to this world. But the mentality of a warrior is very different than the normal mentality. You must be that person on that door, get ready to open it, thinking to yourself. So in an ideal life for me is a life, and this applies to a company, an organization, an institution for me, is an ideal life is when we all have a head, a heart, and a hand, all three elements together, working in alignment. Without one or the other, we start to lose something. If you only have a head and a heart, you'll find that life is stable. And defined. Yeah, yeah, sure, 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 sure. So a head is the clarity of vision, what you want, knowing what you want, the way you picture life, and being able to navigate and make the decisions to get there. That's a good head. I'm going to give you Mark Cuban rule number one. And whenever you forget this rule, you're already out of business. In every business, sales cures all. Has anybody ever heard of a business that had zero sales that was successful? Doesn't happen. Yet, a lot of people start their business thinking, I have a great idea. I'm going to do this. This is amazing. I'm going to go raise money. I just sold this idea. And then it comes back and it's like, okay, you've got to sell that product or you've got to sell that service. Here's the two challenges of life. Number one, the development of our full potential. That's challenge number one. Challenge number two is the wise use of all our resources. That sums up life in general. The development of all of our potential and the wise use of all our resources. One of our resources is time and we talked about that. The day you got the diploma, you just got recognized for the success that you already were. Now that's very essential because so many times people have a have a tendency to devalue the moment today what they do is they greatly value the destination and so they kind of talk about well when i get there or if i arrive there or when i do that or when i accomplish this and they don't understand that success is a daily thing. And I'm here to share with you that the secret of success is determined by your daily agenda. Well, this is your life. 
This is your career. This is your craft. This is your service to humanity. Why would you, why would you be checking your phone? And if you look at a victim, if you look, look at most people on the planet, they're literally hooked to a white screen. They are s s wasting their human potential hooked into some social platform that is creating empires for other people. Look at your struggle. And wherever you're struggling, the struggle is not because the universe won't provide for you. The struggle is an internal job. The struggle is you're trying to overcome previous programming that prevents you to go to that destination. So the wonderful part about this understanding is you don't have to, to review your life. You can look right now at this one moment, just look in your head and say, what are the things that I keep trying to get? And they, they seem to be elusive. I can't get them. They're always out of reach. So the person's entire state of being when they start their day is in the past. So what does that mean? The familiar past will sooner or later be predictable future. So if you believe that your thoughts have something to do with your destiny, and you can't think greater than how you feel. We also have to play the infinite game. It's not about being ranked number one. It's not about having more followers on Twitter than your friends. It's not about outdoing anyone. It's about how to outdo yourself. It's not about selling more books or getting more TED views than somebody else. It's about how to make sure that the work that you're producing is better than the work you produced. If I die, so be it. The only way you can go in that door is knowing there's a great chance you're gonna die. Like being a SEAL, you train with live ammo. You jump out of an airplane, every, 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 everything you do, you could die. So to be a warrior, why people don't understand me, I'm glad you don't understand me. Merry Christmas, good on you. Because being a warrior takes a whole different mindset. The fourth, you are your competition. And that is what ensures you stay in the game the longest. And that is what ensures you find joy. Because the joy comes not from comparison, but from advancement. We've got to see ourselves the way we want to be, and then we have to live with it. People should say, you should slow down. That's a bunch of crap. We should speed up. When we get into the success zone, everything in our life starts to change. You only have to know two things. You have to know where you're going, and you have to know that you're going to get there. A good heart is being able to understand what your intuition in heart wants, being able to connect and tap into that understanding deeper and beyond the vision you may have painted for yourself. So I often say to people that you'll get to where you want in life, just not in the way you imagine. And that's because the path that's paved up and down is far different from the path we paved. So you can have a great head and a great vision and a great mission and know where you want to go, but if your heart's not able to have that resilience and be able to adapt. Take your pen and write out how you want to live and always start by writing, I'm so happy and grateful now that. And the second you write it, you've got it intellectually. The moment you impress it upon your emotional mind, you've got it emotionally. And it's only a period of time till it manifests on the physical plane. Yeah. Spirit works from a higher to a lower potential. A whole different mindset to know that there's a great chance I may not be in the military. Like, I was in for 21 years. I'm lucky. I'm very lucky that I'm alive, able to talk to you, able to still run. But when you sign up on that dial line to be a, like a SEAL, your mentality changes. I may not live. You gotta accept that. And that's the mentality you have. And that's what makes you a warrior. If you're scared to die, you're a bad warrior. I often say to people, your passion is for you, your purpose is for others. Your passion makes you happy. But when you use your passion to make a difference in someone else's life, that's a service, that's a purpose. And that's the hack. We tap dance around the truth by finding the right words so I don't hurt you because you have thin skin. No, tighten up, people. It's okay, trust me, it's okay. You might be called nigger one day. It's okay. Thicken your skin, become more of a human being. Don't be afraid of the reflection in the mirror because that's all you can be afraid of. Once you overcome the reflection in the mirror, you've done it.